Now your flow is open. Um, Show us where that was again, Nick. Right down here. I don't know if I can get the feet out of the way. Right here is your... All right. And that's the flow? Yep. That's the flow to your heaters. Forward is on, backwards off. Correct. Um, then this dimmer switch, you can go up and down, which is going to electronically control another valve, which is located right back here behind the driver's um, side storage unit. All right. Um, so if you go up, that's maximizing the flow that right. goes to the passengers. Go down, and it's minimizing it. Um, and honestly, this is all that you really need to control your flow. What about the water pump? Um, yeah, if you turn on your uh, your heater pump, um, it'll just help cycle the uh, the coolant from the engine. Should should that always be on when you're running the rating heat? Uh, it I guess it just depends on the conditions. When would you not use it? I guess. Uh, probably like if it's already warmer, like it, you know, say you start and it's in the 60s and you just want a little bit of warmth, you, you might not turn it on. All right, so when we get it up to temperature then, what's the first, what's the orders of shutdown to, you don't want to, you don't want to generate any more heat? You, you would switch your pump off. Right. Slide your switch all the way down and that's all that you should need um, for the passengers. Um, and then of course you've got your driver's heater controls here that you would shut off. So you still have heat, even though you put the switches in those positions, there's still heat at the back of the bus. Correct. The Be only way to shut it off is, is that the valve underneath? Uh, well, this valve will shut the flow off as well. Um, this is going to shut the flow off too. The only way that you could quickly cool down there is if you had more cold coolant going in to push it out but since you've already got heated coolant it's going to continue to radiate until the temperature of the coolant disperses um, so yeah you you do need to use a little foresight to start knocking it down when it's getting to the temperature you want i've heard that you really don't even need the heat pump is yeah. that true yeah that's that's true a lot of people don't use them um it, it just depends i know a lot of schools are they want that option. Yeah, I think it's maybe comes back from perhaps an old perception of how convection heat works, but I've heard that buses that you don't need, even need to order that option with it, and you still have a nice convection heat process. Yeah, and Cummins actually, they've just put a new water pump on their engine, uh, which makes it more efficient. So, um, and that's just within the last year. So, um, that 20, kind of 2016 and newer. Yeah, so that, that takes away some of the use of the switch because right. you've got more flow. Because that pump is in series with the water pump from Cummins and essentially just sort of slows the water down. Mm -hmm. And so eliminating it just makes the Cummins pump be more efficient in what it's really going to help with the convection heat. Correct. It's not going to draw that, that coolant any faster than yeah. the pump can pump. Right. Okay. If it's it started out, it was 40 degrees in the morning, they used it, and now it's the afternoon run, and we heat, need no heat in the back. Do we shut? How do you shut it off so that no heat's occurring? I would have this dimmer switch all the way down, and then I would pull this valve down here towards you. All right. And that will shut the flow of water, or the, or the coolant, back to the convection heat, right? Yep. All right. Anything else? That's it.